Hi everyone, it's Natalie and welcome back to my channel. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Why am I already getting emotional? I haven't even said the name of the book. Okay. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Mirror Season by Anna Marie McLemore as part of the book tour hosted by Colored Pages. I cannot even begin to describe how excited I was to be accepted into this book tour. Anna Marie McLemore is one of my all-time favorite authors. I love their work. I've read all of their novels and they are always amazing. So being accepted into this tour was like I don't even have the words to describe it, okay? It was really fucking exciting and I am so, 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 so happy to be able to review this book for y'all. So let me start by reading the book summary for y'all. Graciela Cristales' whole world changes after she and a boy she barely knows are assaulted at the same party. She loses her gift for making enchanted pan dulce. Neighborhood trees vanish overnight while mirrored glass appears bringing reckless magic with it. And Ciela is haunted by what happened to her and what happened to the boy whose name she never learned. But when the boy, Locke, shows up at Ciela's school, he has no memory of that night and no clue that a single piece of mirrored glass is tearing his life apart. Ciela decides to help him, which means hiding the truth about that night because Ciela knows who assaulted her and him and she knows that their survival depends on no one finding out what really happened. So I rated this book five stars. Honestly, I would rate it 100 million stars if I could, if that were a rating system. I would do that because it was fucking incredible. Like it was just amazing. I I'm going to struggle so hard to put into words why I love this book so much in this review because I just feel so strongly about it and that makes me even more incomprehensible. But listen, when I picked up this book, I was not anticipating for it to immediately jump into my all-time favorites of the year and of ever. Like, okay, I was expecting this to be a favorite because again, as I've said earlier, Anna Marie McLemore is one of my favorite authors. Their writing is phenomenal. So I already knew I was going to enjoy this book. There was never a question in my mind about whether or not I would like this book, whether I would enjoy it. But the level of amazing that this book is, is just astronomical. It will be my number one read of the year. I already know this. I already know we're only in March as I am filming this <laughs> review. It's only March and I already know this is going to be my number one read of the year because there is no chance anything can surpass this, okay? There is zero chance of any book surpassing this one. Last year, I knew immediately which book would be my favorite book of the year, and this year it's going to be no different, and it's going to be the mirror season. The lighting in this video is going to be so terrible, and I'm so upset about it. But what I was going to say is that I already want to reread this book. I finished it about a week ago and I'm already like, I'm forgetting too many details of the story. I need to relive it again. I need to suffer again. I need to be torn apart and put back together again because that's what this book did, okay? This book tore me apart and then tried to put me together piece by piece in the most excruciating and incredible way possible. <laughs> so, so I really want to read it again, okay? I, th my point here is that I already want to be in this story again. But before I get farther into the specifics of why I love this book, I have to say that this really delves deeply into the traumatic experience that Ciela and Locke go through. Their sexual assault that is described in considerable detail. So if this topic is triggering for you, please tread incredibly lightly because this book can be extremely triggering. I myself am not a survivor of sexual assault. I've never been the victim of sexual assault, 
but even I was deeply upset and disturbed by some of the contents in this book. And let me also say that it never felt gratuitous, it never felt like it was trying to be flashy or anything about the topic, it was just incredibly real. And it's one of the reasons why I quite a few times felt nauseated while reading this book. There were scenes here that were very upsetting and so that's why I say that especially for someone who has experienced this, who is a survivor, this might be a book that is incredibly challenging for them to read. So just be careful and be kind to yourself if that is a topic that is upsetting to you. Now, one of the primary reasons I loved this book was because of the character work. I think this novel has the strongest character work yet from an Anna Marie McLemore book. I feel like their characters are usually likable, you can grow attached to them, but I feel like this book took it to the next level. We followed Ciela and Locke so closely and the relationship they formed between one another that you really got to form a really close attachment to these characters. You really felt very connected with them and you really cared about what happened to them and what they were doing after what happened to them. I feel like that sentence was incomprehensible. But my point here is that the character work is incredibly strong and is the primary reason why I love this book so much. Ciela was wonderful. <laughs> how, how can I talk about Ciela? How can I talk about Ciela? <laughs> so with Ciela, the whole book is like holding your breath. You're there with her, holding your breath, waiting for her to finally release all the pent up emotions she has from being assaulted. And you're, you're, you're just, your, your breath is just caught in your throat as you're waiting for her to let go of all of this, to let go of all of this emotion that she keeps suppressing. And I just love Ciela so much and I don't even know how to properly talk about her. It's another of the reasons why I want to reread this book because I'm like, I need more words to be able to talk about why I love Ciela. But another of the things that I liked about Ciela's character was her relationship with Jess. Her friendship with Jess is an important part of her story. She essentially has this best friend who she doesn't tell about what happened to her and this affects their friendship and we get to follow their relationship as they try to piece it all together again because Ciela feels like she shouldn't talk about this experience with anybody. So I really appreciated the friendship that she had with Jess and how complicated it was because of this traumatic experience. Now as for Locke, he was also so precious. I loved him so much. So 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 much. And I also don't have words to describe my feelings and my emotions. I just know that I would do anything for Locke and Ciela. I would, I would give it all. <laughs> I would do it all. They are just so, so amazing. And I have to say that reading this a few days after I started to learn to crochet was an experience. I have to admit that part of my affinity with Locke is that he is a boy who crochets. So it was just unexpected for me to be experiencing a book with a main character who crochets while I'm learning to crochet. And I wanted to show one of my little creations. I made a little whale. This was my first basically project trying to do something. So me making this whale while I'm reading this book with this protagonist that crochets was just a next level of like the stars aligning that I was not anticipating. So yeah, Locke was precious and Locke's interactions with his little sister were also incredibly precious so so cute. I am a sucker. I am weak. I am very 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 weak to sibling interactions like that. Like wholesome sweet younger sibling with older sibling interactions. That is just my weakness. My true weakness. <laughs> well one of my true weaknesses. <laughs> 
So obviously there was no world in which I could not love Locke with the entirety of my soul and my being. So one of the strongest parts of this book as well that I wasn't anticipating is just how much joy there is in this story. There are so many wholesome and sweet interactions between Ciela and Locke. And in general, there are so many scenes that are infused with so much happiness that it just completely caught me off guard but made this story even more beautiful, even more impactful and just such an incredible reading experience. I have to say that the combination of those heart-wrenching scenes with those very sweet scenes were just done so beautifully, done so well. The balance between them was incredible and so it's something that is just I have to note about this book and I have to note about how it made the story even more compelling. So finally I think the writing of this novel is just phenomenal overall. I know I've used that word already in this review but it's true. I feel like the writing here is much more grounded than in most of Macklemore's work. Anna Marie Macklemore's novels tend to be more heavy on the magical realism and a little bit more whimsical in the writing and this one felt much more grounded and I feel like the story needed it. It needed to be that way in order to tell the story it was trying to tell and I think it worked incredibly well. I think the writing, it's not like it sacrificed the magic in order to be more grounded. This still felt magical, this still felt infused with that magic, but it also felt incredibly real at the same time. And so I think that's one of the strengths of this novel because sometimes it can be difficult to get wrapped up in the writing of something and in this one you still have Anne-Marie McLemore's beautiful writing but it doesn't feel like it confuses the story in any way. It feels incredibly sharp and precise and exactly as whimsical and grounded as it needed to be. So yeah, overall I would highly, highly, highly recommend picking up this book. It is a fantastic novel. I adored it and I am so looking forward to rereading it. And I also held it in my hands the whole time in this video because the cover is just too beautiful to hide. Like usually I review my books with it right here like in the back so that I don't have to hold it the whole time and my hand doesn't have to get tired. But this, this cover is too beautiful for me to put it so far away and so out of focus. Like it, that's just unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And of course I also have to share that I annotated this quite a lot because of course I did. Of course I had to annotate it because it was fucking amazing. So that is as much as I can make sense in this video review of this book that I loved so much. So just go out there and pick it up and read it. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, I will have the links to that down below in the description. But for now, see you next time.